I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a St. Patrick's Day cat. I take three fingers right here in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw curve line to the left, come back to the dot, curve line to the right. Come back to the left and draw one, two little straight lines. Come on the right, one, two, little straight lines. Come back to the left, draw a curve line down, leave it floating. Come on the right, curve line down, leave it floating. Now come all the way down to the bottom because we are going to make the front part or the foreground part of our drawing. So I come right down here at the bottom and I put a dot and I draw a curve line up, in, out, float. Right where I stop, I draw a curve line up, in, out, float. Come right here and draw a curve line out, in, out, in, float. Now come back to where we started. We're just going to draw a slightly curved line off the page. Come back to the right, slightly curved line off the page. We come right next to it. We're going to do these as overlaps. I draw a curve line up, in, out, and float. Draw a big curve line out, in, out, in. Leave it to float. One more curve line out, in, out, in, connect. I have room for one more, so I'm going to come back over here on the left and I draw a curve line up, in, out, in, and leave it floating. Right where I stop, curve line up, in, out, in, leave it floating, curve line out, in, out, in, and connect. Now I come over to the right hand side. I'm going to put a dot right about there and I'm going to draw curve line out, in, out, in, leave it floating, curve line up, in, out, in, leave it floating, curve line out, in, out, in, leave it floating. Right here where we started, I draw a curve line down off the page, right where we are right here on this, curve line down off the page. Now I'm going to draw an overlap, curve line up, in, out, leave it floating, Curve line up, in, out, leave it floating. Curve line out, in, out, up, connect. One more room. Curve line up, in, out, in, leave it floating. Curve line out, in, out, in, leave it floating. Curve line out in, out, in, and connect. Now I come back to the middle part and right here I'm just going to add a little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right. Come down here, let's add a little curve line on the left and I think that's all. Now come inside this space, draw one, two dots, a flat oval, one, two little straight lines on the right, one, two, three little straight lines on the left, one little curved line. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my orange and color in this space. Now, I'm doing this for St. Patrick's Day, so I'm going to use variations of different colors of green. 
this green I found in my crayon bag and you can see I've used almost all of it and I think if I remember correctly it's a sea foam green but what I would suggest you do is go through your crayons and see how many different colors of green you have. So the first part I'm going to do is color in this whole space with this color green. Now if you don't have a lot of different greens, you can even do this project with just one green, just using it light and dark in between. We're going to bring the color all the way down to the edge of the paper because we want it to look like he is or she is hiding behind all the shamrocks. So color this part, this space green as well as you can and then look around for some more greens. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the bottom shamrock and I'm going to color the first one green, dark green, regular green. Okay. Now if you have a lot of different colored greens you can make them all different but I just have three so I'm going to color the first one one color. Then I'm going to come back in with another green I found in my bag and that is yellow green. So I'm going to color this space yellow green. And we're really doing like an AB, AB pattern on all these overlapping shamrocks. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to my regular green and color this in green. Now, if you want to, you can add way more shamrocks. You could even add more cats. But I limited myself to this. Now, I'm doing the opposite colors on the left hand side. So now I start with my yellow green and color in my first shamrock space. Then I do my regular green and color in the next shamrock space. And you will do a way better job than I am. And then my last shamrock, I'm going to color in with my yellow green. Okay? Now, once you've done that, you can do your background because the shamrock's up front, that's your foreground. Your cat is your middle ground. And now the background, I used orange straight lines. But if you have an inclination towards doing this as rainbow, this would be a great project to practice doing all the colors in your crayon box rainbow in the background. But I'm doing mine orange. Straight lines. Okay? Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my St. Patrick's cat, all colored in, ready to chase a leprechaun. Okay, bye-bye.